What a difference a day makes, they say. On September 26, 2009, it didn't even take a day. All it needed was six hours. In six hours, the world was turned upside down for close to two million people in the Philippines. Families were torn apart. Life savings washed away as rising water took over cities and towns. Typhoon Kitsana stormed into the Philippines, bringing with it the average rainfall for an entire month in only six hours. Taking with it 464 lives and leaving almost 240 million US dollars worth in total damages. A clear image of the impact of global climate change. A hard hitting reality for a people. Though the Philippines is a tropical island paradise, it comes with a prize. Part of the Pacific Typhoon Belt, we are susceptible to sea level rise and storm surges. With extreme changes in temperature, we are experiencing an increasing number of stronger and more intense typhoons and droughts yearly. Making matters worse is the rampant poverty we continue to deal with. Approximately 44% of the population lives in informal squatter settlements, danger zones that offer no real shelter from climate upheaval. And they are the population hardest hit. Studies show the Philippines as being one of the 10 most afflicted countries in the world in terms of number of lives and properties lost as a result of damage due to climate change. With the burden we carry, is there a glimmer of hope? Towards the end of 2009, overall climate change awareness in the Philippines has been increasing slowly, offering a glimmer of hope. Yet, it is one thing to be aware, it is another to be accountable. This 2010, we are taking on the challenge of accountability and climate adaptability. In an effort to join the global campaign for climate adaptability, the City of Taguig, the Climate Change Commission, My Shelter Foundation, the United Architects of the Philippines, and the Philippine White Helmets, will be holding a Design Against the Elements competition, an international competition to design an affordable, sustainable, disaster-resilient community that can be built in developing countries. Together, we will build the first green and disaster-resistant community for the urban poor in the Philippines. The most innovative, resourceful, and environmentally sustainable designs will then be compiled and made available to anyone in the world seeking to respond to the problem of climate adaptability. That's architects, local governments, and NGOs united for climate adaptability. With a crisis as daunting as climate change, it's easy to get lost in the clutter. But what it boils down to is this. Let's take charge. Let's be accountable. Let's pull our strengths our passions together. Let's do our part. Let's fight our own fight against climate adaptability. The Design Against the Elements competition. Dare to join the global campaign for climate adaptability. Log on to www.designagainsttheelements.org for date competition mechanics, corporate and NGO contributions, and the cardboard campaign 